Well, guess where we are? We're at the charcoal kilns. You're looking at the charcoal kilns above Death Valley in the Wild Rose area. A little bit about the charcoal kilns. You can pause the screen and read all about them. Anyway, um, there you're looking up at the um, Wild Rose Peak area. Let's go ahead and, and learn a little bit about these charcoal kilns. They were built in 1877 and produced charcoal for the Modoc Mine smelter about 20 miles to the west. Workers filled the stone kilns with pinion pine logs, relatively abundant in this area, and fired them. The burning, which reduced the wood to charcoal, took six to eight days. Cooling took another five days. Wagons then hauled the charcoal to the furnace smelter, where it was burned to extract silver and lead for the Modoc Consolidated Mining Company, owned by George Hurst, father of the newspaper man, William Randolph Hurst. The kilns closed after only three years, but they still smell of creosote inside because of their brief life and remote location. These may be the best preserved examples of charcoal kilns in the West. And as I said, we'll, we'll go ahead inside the kilns. There's, there's a cool echo inside the kilns, but we'll wait until we're on the way back. A little more light. Okay, I promised you an echo from inside the kilns. So, let's just find a charcoal kiln. Has a nice opening. Look at that. Okay, we're going in this kiln. They are beautiful. Now let's hear how they sound. Echo. Echo. And here we are inside a kiln. You could actually do a recording in here. Do one of those God recordings. A message from God. So these are amazing kilns. And every single one of them, it actually smells like charcoal. And it smells like it burned charcoal just yesterday. But it's been many years. Anyway, there you have it. Inside a charcoal kiln. Looked like a beehive. So if you were a giant bee, flying through that hole, this is what you would emerge into. Okay, enough fun with kilns. Out we go. Wow, this is kind of cool. Oops. 
There are a lot of rocks in here to trip on. Okay. Yeah, we need to take some pictures. This looks like an entrance into another world. By the way, there's one more trailhead here. Wild Rose Peak. And it's right down there at the end of the kilns. And you end up up in those hills on Wild Rose Peak. Wild burrows posing for us. And they were left here, their ancestors were left here by miners. And so they multiplied in these hills And here's the family. Wild burrows left here by miners. And they're just posing for us here, right on the side of the road. Oh, well, it looks like they're... <laughs> they're coming closer. I hope that they're nice burrows. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you for standing there so patiently. Bye-bye.